Number 81. In a common medical laboratory determination of the concentration of free chloride iron in blood serum, a serum sample is titrated with HgNO32 solution, given the following formula. What is the Cl- concentration if a 0.25 mL sample of normal serum that requires 1.46 mL of 8.25 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity HgNO32 uh, was needed to reach the end point. Okay, so I have salts here, right? I have a chloride ion and I have this mercury uh, 2, yeah, mercury 2 nitrate, right? So I'm going to just rewrite the balance equation just so that I could use it a little bit bigger. And when I write my equation, I don't really necessarily care for the states. So I'm just going to not write them because I can. And when these come together, you get two nitrate ions and then that HgCl2 compound. Okay. So let's just kind of maybe place this in the middle. Beautiful. And I do see, uh, you know, coefficients, right? This two and this two. So I'm assuming that this is balanced. So you can pause the video and just see, you know, if it's balanced or not, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be balanced. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write out what they gave me and what I'm trying to solve for. So I'll start with this guy over here, right? They said that we need 1.46 mils of 8.25 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity of this compound, which is over here. So I have 1.46 mils of 8.25 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity, right? And they're asking for what is the concentration of that chloride ion if we have a 0.25 mil sample of the serum, right? So they told us that we had zero point, and actually maybe I'll put this in a different color. We have 0 0.25 mils of this, and they're asking for the concentration. Remember, concentration is just a fancy way for saying molarity. So in this case, we wanna find the molarity. Now, whenever you're given a balanced equation and more information, in one compound than for the, you know, the ion that we're trying to solve for, right? We always have to go from one compound to another by using a balanced equation, AKA a ratio, right? Now, in order to do that, in order to go from one compound to another, I need to use the unit of moles. So they didn't give me moles here. They gave me a milliliter, they gave me a molarity, but in order to jump from one compound to another and use the balanced equation, I need to know how many moles I have. But, hmm, I'm thinking to myself, oh, I think I could do that, right? Molarity, a volume, moles. Remember, molarity equals moles divided by liters. And if I just change this formula up, right? If I just cross multiply, mole would equal molarity times liter. So I'm just going to write that out. And maybe I'll do this up here. Moles equals molarity times liter. But specifically, it's molarity times liter. They gave me mils. So the first thing I have to do is I have to convert mils to liters. That's just divide by a thousand, right? No biggie there. So I'm just going to take 1.46, divide by a thousand. You can move the decimal over three times if you want to do that as well. Um, maybe I will, actually, I don't think I need scientific notation. I'm just going to remove this a little bit. 0 0.00146 liters. And now I have a liter and a molarity. I can times them together to get my moles. So moles, moles, <laughs> that was a combination of molarity and moles, moles. So the molarity is 8.25 times 10 to the negative fourth. And then my liter is 0 0.00146. Okay, let's find those moles out. So times that by 8.25. And I won't round this number because this is not the answer. So 1.2045 times 10 to the negative sixth moles of the Hg NO32. Okay. So now I know the moles of this compound, right? This is 
1.2045 times 10 to the negative 6. Now, I could use my balanced equation to go from moles of this compound to moles of this compound. Now, in order to reach the end point, the end point is basically just a little bit over the equivalence point. This is where your stoichiometry numbers, your coefficients, are equal to each other. So basically, if you had two moles of this, the other one, you would have one mole. If you had four moles, you would have two moles of this, because I just times the numbers by two. Now, technically, we have this amount of moles of this. And at the end point, I should have roughly the uh, number of moles equivalent by what the uh, balanced equation is. But we could just do this by a ratio, guys, right? I'm going to take that number, 1.2045 times 10 to the negative 6 moles of Hg, NO32. Maybe I'll pull this a little bit. I'll pull it, I'll pull it down here times by a ratio, put the unit that you don't want on the other side, so mole of the HgNO32 goes on the bottom, and the Cl goes on the top, that's what we want. Now, this is a mole-to-mole -mole ratio of different compounds, mole-to-mole -mole of different compounds, that's the coefficients. There was a 2 in front of the Cl and nothing in front of the HgNO32, that means that you had only one of them, which is what we just said. So I'm going to put a 2 moles of Cl and a 1 here. So I just multiplied this number by 2. Okay. And I get 2.409 times 10 to the negative 6. And now that's the number of moles of Cl minus that I have. So I can add information over here. So I'm going to put... 2.409 times 10 to the negative 6 moles. I still want to find molarity, and now look, I have moles, I have a volume. I kind of go back to the other uh, formula, right? Molarity equals moles over liters. If you need to, guys, pause the video. I'm just going to get rid of this formula over here in the math. So, bye-bye. And we're going to put the new one, right? Molarity equals, that was an... There you go. Molarity equals moles over liter, but they give me mils, so I just have to go to liters by doing the same thing. I divide by 1,000, right? So 0.25 divided by 1,000, move the decimal point over three times to the left. I get 2.5 times 10 to the negative fourth liters, and that kind of makes sense. One, two, three. Yep. So... Moles, which is what I just found out, 2.409 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 2.5 times 10 to the negative 4th. Let's see what we get. 2.409 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by that volume. And I'm looking back at the answer. It looks like I have two sig figs here, 3 and 3. So my answer should have technically two sig figs. So this would kind of be 9.6 times 10 to the negative 3 molarity. 1, 2, 3. Yep. And that's of the Cl minus ion. And that's it, guys. There is your final answer. What's the concentration? 9.6 times 10 to the negative 3 molarity. Okay. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And good luck on your tests and quizzes. And if you want to help us out, please hit the subscribe button. Just gets the word out there that this cool service exists. And I thank you so much for that. See you in future lessons. Have a great day. Bye-bye.